El compañero de ADN se me ha adelantado un poco a la pregunta, pero sin embargo la respuesta no me ha dejado convencido. ¿no? Eh, efectivamente ese punto número 8 es muy controvertido, porque parece ser que eh, dice que el ciudadano reportero es el responsable legal de su artículo, pero ¿hasta dónde está la responsabilidad del medio? Es un punto importantísimo en España, por ejemplo, las demandas por querellas, por el honor, en contra del honor, etc., eh, pues son muy importantes, ha dado lugar a indemnizaciones millonarias. En ese caso, ¿quién pagaría la indemnización? ¿El ciudadano reportero de Sudán, por ejemplo, por poner un ejemplo? ¿El medio es corresponsable de alguna manera? Eh, ¿Qué filosofía? Ya veo que no hay una, una eh, eh, respuesta legal, digamos, todavía no se ha producido un, eh, un juicio, un veredicto final, pero ¿cuál es la, la posición del medio al respecto? Well, I'm not an expert in these legal matters, but in international cases, I was talking before about the domestic case. We haven't had any lawsuits that have come up in our international edition, so the case of a Sudanese writer, I, I, I cannot say. Uh, obviously, uh, Omai News would, would probably take some responsibility, um, but we would also uh, defend those articles to the degree that they could be defended. Uh, when the first lawsuit occurs, I'll be able to answer that question more, uh, more definitively, but it, it simply hasn't occurred internationally. And these international libel laws, I, I think, are very difficult to, to win. So um, I think libel laws usually are, are uh, domestic cases. So th this is new territory, so I, I cannot say. La última pregunta. Sí, a mí me gustaría eh, si pudiera incidir un poco más en los, sobre los contenidos de, de, de Oh My News, sobre, sobre las noticias que envían los reporteros y, y qué alejadas están esas noticias, o sea, la información que ofrece su medio de, de la prensa o de los medios de comunicación tradicionales, porque puede ser, se dice muchas veces que lo que ofrecen los medios de comunicación está muy alejado de lo que realmente interesa al lector y como ustedes tienen ese ese feedback entre el lector y, 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 el, y el redactor, quisiera saber que me informara un poco más sobre los temas que más interesan. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that I guess I don't have an internet access here, but uh, I was going to try to uh, show you one of our stories that we published to give you an idea. Um, we publish lots of articles. Um, uh, I could give you Let me give you one example, because it's fresh in my mind, I just worked on this story, for example. Uh, one story that we ran a couple of months ago, and actually it relates to another story that we wrote uh, over a year ago, was about um, public architecture. For example, we, this was a story that occurred in Japan. We ran on Omai News Japan, and then we also translated into English. Um, And that story was written by just a uh, citizen who noticed in Tokyo that the public benches had been replaced. But they had been replaced by benches where you actually couldn't sit down or you couldn't sit down very comfortably. And she realized that these benches were a way of preventing, obviously, homeless people from sleeping on them. And so what she did was she just took, she brought her digital camera. Oh, the other thing that I should mention about the conditions uh, for uh, the Oh My News project in Korea is that uh, everyone in Korea has a mobile phone, and every mobile phone in Korea also has a camera. So essentially, every citizen in Korea has at their disposal uh, a device to record not only pictures, but often video as well. So uh, when, a, when a, an accident or any kind of event, unusual or extraordinary event occurs, uh, there are many witnesses that can actually document that event as it's taking place. So we get many stories like that, which, is, which wasn't possible in the past, where you know, in the past when an accident or an event occurred, you, it, it, it happened, uh, you, If the, the mainstream media would have to send out reporters after it happened and interview witnesses, et cetera, et cetera. This, in this way, we get direct reporting of events. That's one type of story. Let me go back now to what I was talking about earlier, the public benches story. So this citizen reporter in Tokyo just took her camera, her digital camera, and took photographed all these various types of benches, which were designed in a way that they looked quite 
quite striking visually, but practically just served the purpose of preventing people from sitting there. And as a result of that story, we got a lot of submissions from uh, other areas in the world where this is occurring. For example, in the Paris Metro, we got a story from a French writer about how they've replaced the, the public seating on the platforms of the, of the metro so that it's, it becomes impossible to lie down now on those benches. The, the seats fold up or, or they're at a very strange angle or they're just, they're just constructed now so that people can't actually sit there very comfortably for very long. And this, this is the kind of story that, you know, the people that use the metro, the citizens or the go to those parks will notice first. And so that, that, I thought that, that was a very striking example of, of story. And then, you know, we get everything else. We get uh, film reviews, book reviews, we get uh, live stories, and, um, and, and very- sex scandals. And so, <laughs> sex scandals, yes, but those are obviously very popular. Gossip. And gossip. Uh, well, it depends what you mean by gossip. Celebrity. Uh, celebrity gossip, uh, yes, yes, to some degree, to some degree. Religion? Religion? 